tell me if uh, you've, uh, with your, the whole research you've done, uh, you've learned something for your life, not about the character, something about your, uh, uh, that will be useful for your private life. Um, I think something that I learned is uh, um, always check your hotel room for hidden <laughs> cameras <laughs> and uh, behind, the, behind every mirror. Yeah, that's what I learned about my <laughs> um, I think uh, to not be easily influenced or swayed by anybody and to stand your own ground and not let people drag you into uh, dark things and, and mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you have some, let, let's call it action scenes, but they're not this great action, but still, they're action scenes. Yeah. Uh, do you need uh, a particular preparation also for this kind of action, or you can do it just by yourself, you don't need a trainer? Uh, no, I think, I think if I had it my way, I wouldn't have a stunt double, but mm -hmm. I think they, um, they have to be a little bit smarter than that. I'm a little clumsy, so mm -hmm. they need someone right there to help me out. <laughs> um, so what, what, what did the trainer train you about? I mean, what, what did he teach you? Well, this character in particular was very animalistic, so we had to make sure it didn't look too clean cut. It had to be very rough, and um, which was super fun. Like, the, the, there, there's a, a fight scene over in the um, bonfire, um, which was very brutal and a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of very, very nasty way to fight. Um, so that, that that's always fun. And then the chandelier shot was obviously like huge moment for me to swing on a chandelier. I think everybody kind of wants to do that inside. Okay, tell me about the hair. Rose has a very peculiar hair, and uh, well, not the peculiar, but let's say she uses them. The the the, the character uses her hair to uh, be scary, to be to give the audience the impression she's deranged. So was this something you worked with a uh, hairstylist? Um, I think her whole <laughs> her whole everything. She's she's pretty uh, greasy and dirty, and um, she doesn't mm -hmm. really take care of herself much anymore. So. Um, also very fun to do the in the in the hair and makeup chair I got to come in looking clean and just taking a shower and then I had to put like crease and dirt all over my face and knees so um, mm -hmm. I think that's always a fun thing to do and then there's just so much blood in this movie which is another actor thing that she kind of always want to do mm -hmm. <laughs> more blood the better for Drew definitely uh, got that in you and Dakota Johnson are sisters but yeah you gotta be very different, like two sides of the same metal, because one is the dark, one is the light. Uh, do you have to take some kind of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, deal with her to uh, just uh, be on the same page? We are sister, we have to be similar in some kind of ways. We got to do some things the same way because the audience should recognize that we come from the same uh, parents or just, uh, that's not an option. Uh, no, I mean, um, there were little things, like I think, um, uh, like I didn't have bangs before and we, we matched up our hair, like physical things that we did, mm -hmm. um, um, but th they are very different people, but, and you see that they had um, the same background, you see the flashbacks and what they went through in life and they just dealt with it different ways. Um, but there were a couple moments where we were like, let's let's add this in there to show that there's a connection between them. Um, there's like a little little sister wave that we did. If you can mm -hmm. catch that in the movie, um, yeah, there were some times, but we kind of left it that up to the writing. I mean, the uh, Drew kind of wrote it all in there and how he wanted it to play out. So it was kind of it was all already set up for us. Mm -hmm. The screenplay you just mentioned is very, very sharp. I mean, there yeah. are lots of details and all the events, they uh, they are very well set. So, was there any margin for uh, discussion with Drew? Did you add something or just please read the screenplay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think filming, when we were on set, everything was had to be in place because it was such a tight script. You know, you don't really want to mess with it. But before we started filming, we 
he, he definitely wanted these characters to be our own, and at some point he was like, this character's not mine anymore, it's yours, I'm giving it to you, I trust you as an actor to take this character on. Um, but he, he, he wanted us to create the backstories and, and to talk with him about it. So it was still collaborative, even though once by the time we got on set, we had to have everything in place, everything in order. There wasn't a, a lot of room for improv, but if there was ever a moment that we didn't feel like was clicking right, pause, take a break, we're gonna work it out until it feels right. So he was great as a director mm -hmm. in listening to our thoughts and he was always very open and wanted to hear what we had to say. Did he give you some movies to look at just for preparing, like some movies that have the same mood of this one? Um, not movies really. It was more for me personally, for my character, a lot of documentaries. Mm -hmm. He sent a whole list of documentaries, which for me is super helpful because when things are actually happen in real life, it helps you ground it as a character to know that these things actually go on in other people's lives. And then we had a couple things about, you know, the, the certain time period things, like the Vietnam War, did research about that, the hippie movement, um, the presidents at the time, uh, the cults, like ev every aspect of the 60s, we tried to dive in and do as much research as we could. So he was very helpful in that. And the music, of course. We all had playlists and stuff, which was, which was great. Okay, thank you. Thank you.